Obviously, I haven't really addressed him on my channel. Away suitcase. My Christmas stock has arrived. This is the first Christmas design. I'm going to see Greece this evening. I want a Christmas tree for the Sunnyside office. I thought I'd show you what I bought from Wilco and the range. It's not going to be for everyone. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all having a lovely day. Today is like the perfect autumn day in my opinion. Clear blue skies, it's sunny outside but it's a little bit chilly. Warm in the sun, chilly in the shade, that kind of day. Also, this behind me, this is not a tie, believe it or not. It's a belt from a new jacket I bought. I'll show you that later in the week. It's such a lovely jacket. I thought this week I'd bring you along for a little weekly vlog, see what I get up to now that the seasons have changed. And I'm very excited about it. So grab yourself a cup of tea. Hope you enjoy the vlog. And I'm gonna go and grab some breakfast, make myself a coffee, and then head out for a brisk little autumn walk with Sunny before I officially start work for the day. Autumn comes to soon. to realize that I think the autumn version of Han is my favorite. It's when I feel the most confident. I love the fashion. I feel very comfortable in a knitted jumper. I love that I can wear my hair down because the back of my neck doesn't get sweaty like it does in summer. Everyone is different, right? Your confidence comes from wherever you feel best. And for me, I really think that when my skin is good, that is when I'm at my most confident. And I'm going to say it, I think right now my skin is the best it's been for a very long time and I put it all down to one particular product so I wanted to share that with you today and this little autumn vlog is very kindly sponsored by the team over at Skin and Me. Skin and Me make powerful personalised skincare products which contain active ingredients that you can't get over the counter and this is the hero I'm talking about. This is the Skin and Me Daily Doser. I've been using it for I think around eight months now which has honestly flown by. Simply twist the top. You'll hear the click to ensure you're using the perfect dose for your skin and I use it every evening on clean skin before bed. The product is designed by dermatologists so you get expert care without the wait time or the price tag. And your product is completely personalised to you and your skin goals. From start to finish, the entire Skin and Me process feels so personal and it starts with a little online consultation. All you have to do is answer a few questions about your skin and upload three makeup free photos. It means you're totally in charge, you tell the experts what your skin goals are and what you want to achieve by using Skin and Me. Then using your answers, the dermatology team get to work on your daily doser. The percentage of each ingredient starts low on your daily doser to give your skin time to adjust to the powerful ingredients. Then the concentrations will increase as your months progress until you get your skin where you want it to be. My main goals were to improve my skin texture. I wanted it to feel firmer and brighter and also to make my pores less visible. And since starting my journey with Skin and Me, I feel feel so much happier with my no makeup look. My skin feels brighter, clearer, and it really feels honestly like I'm mastering this skincare thing. I know I can't take the credit, but it feels like I've mastered it. When you start using Skin and Me, a new daily doser will be delivered to your door just as you are about to run out. But you can pause, cancel, or resume your subscription at any time. I'll leave a link to Skin and Me in the description down below so that you can start your skin journey right now. There's no time like the present, especially because I have an exclusive discount code for you guys. So if you use this code, FabHannahYT, you will receive your first month of your daily doser for just £3.50. It's usually £24.99, so this is such a good deal. Thank you to Skin and Me for very kindly sponsoring this vlog, and thank you for saving my skin. So, this evening, I am just putting on a bit of lip oil, so I need to leave the house right now. I'm going to see Greece this evening in London on the West End. Very, very excited. I'm going with one of my best friends, Becca. Sorry, I'm just putting the lid on my lip oil. Yeah, I'm going with one of my best friends, Becca. It's actually her birthday present to me to go and see this. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. I mentioned this on my Instagram story, but I feel like I haven't seen that many shows in the West End. I've seen Lion King, Pretty Woman, Aladdin. And I think that's it. I think that's all I've seen in London. So today I'm gonna add Greece to the list. I'm looking forward to seeing the show, looking forward to seeing Becca, and apparently Peter Andre's in Greece at the minute, so 
looking forward to seeing Peter Andre too. I used to watch Katie and Peter back in the day. I was definitely far too young to watch it. I must have been about seven, but my mum and dad loved Katie and Peter. The next chapter. Does anyone remember that program? If you are, you must be in at least your mid-twenties like I am. Anyway, I'm gonna go and hop on the train. I'm gonna get on the Elizabeth line for the first time today. How exciting. I'm wearing such a millennial outfit. I feel like a lot of people are gonna hate this, but I like it. I think it's theatre attire. I've just got a plain long sleeve top on. This was from H&M. And I'm wearing skinny jeans. Oh, ignore the fact I've got white socks on. It's because I'm about to put these trainers on. I'll probably change the socks, to be honest, to like the ones you can't see. Black skinny jeans are from New Look. This jacket is from Topshop. And my bag is from the Couples. City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down City of mine How I love How I love the city of mine It never gets me down Look at that silhouette in the sun <laughs> Hello, me again So, Greece was amazing Literally so, so good I love going to the theatre It makes me feel so like I don't know, I get all like goosebumpy and I forget about everything going on in the world. I just love going to the theatre, hearing people sing. I always look at them singing and think, how is that coming out of your mouth right now? Right there, do you know what I mean? Um, anyway, yeah, Greece was amazing. Peter Andre was in it, which was unexpectedly hilarious. It was a nice little touch. There were a lot of middle-aged women that got very excited when Peter Andre came out. Me and my mate just kind of looked at each other like... <laughs> Lol was Peter Andre and for one of the songs it turned into Peter Andre the musical. It was so funny though Um, yeah, really good show 10 out of 10 recommend if you're thinking of going to see Greece anyway this morning I've just had a little delivery and I'm very excited about it It's very niche a little bit rogue and random But I recently went on a weekend away and my suitcase my good old trusty Primark suitcase It just doesn't cut it anymore. It's just not quite big enough in the summer perfect You know when you've got like thinner clothes, but in the autumn winter time Time. It fits two jumpers, one pair of jeans, and that's about it. So I've made an investment. She's here behind me. I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to film it. I only ordered this yesterday as well, by the way. And it's arrived this morning in 24 hours. Amazing. So let's have a little away suitcase unboxing together because I'm so excited. I actually messaged Gabby over the weekend because I knew that she had recommended suitcases at some point, but I couldn't remember what brand they were called. She said it was away, so I had a look at them. Not gonna lie, they're not cheap suitcases, but we're planning on doing a lot more like staycations, weekends away and stuff like that next year. So I decided to get the bigger carry-on suitcase. Before I open it, just wanna premise by saying this suitcase was 265 pounds. It is not a cheap one, it's definitely an investment. But before I bought this, I'm the type of person that does so much research when it comes to bags, anything expensive really. And I typed in on YouTube, away suitcase review, and the love Brogan Tate had done such a detailed unboxing and review of this exact suitcase that after I watched that video I was like yes it's the one I feel completely comfortable spending money on it now so let's open her up da -da -da. Sunny's watching me on my bed oh cute oh my gosh it's the leather luggage tag love that it feels very luxury I was excited to see what color I got I'm gonna put the colors on screen here place your bets which color do you think I went for if you said beige you would be correct. Why is it literally the most beautiful suitcase I've ever seen in my life? I will open it up and show you fully, but for me, the number one selling point of this suitcase, like I wouldn't have bought it without this, is the fact that they have a lifetime warranty. And Gabby actually said this to me, that she had a slight problem with her suitcase and no fuss, they sent her another one. So once you've bought the first one, you've basically got a suitcase for life, because if anything happens to it, they just replace it. Oh, it's relatively light for a suitcase. So this is what the top of it looks like. TSA approved, I think that means at the airport they can still get into it if they really need to. Wow, she's pretty. It's literally the perfect size for what I need. If I go to Disneyland Paris next year, which I'm hoping to, this is gonna be the perfect size to take. A long weekend away, perfect. It comes with this little pouch, which is a little eraser. You just dampen it, and then if you get any scuffs on it, it should take the scuffs out. So this side of the suitcase has a mesh insert. I'd put like my toiletries and stuff in that side, zip it up, you're good to go. And then this side is where I'll put my clothes. 
because it has this little compression thing so imagine your clothes are full up to like here put that down and then you do up the straps and you can tighten it and squash everything right down perfect for an overpacker like me and it also has this little pouch which i believe is a laundry it is a little laundry bag so once you've like worn your clothes you can put them in there and it comes with you wow i am obsessed this is so nice so for reference this is the new case compared to my old primark case well, this is like a standard cabin size suitcase there's nothing wrong with it it's not broken it's actually lasted me really well it's just a little bit too small as you can see the away one is like it's not loads loads bigger but there is definitely room for a few more jumpers and stuff in there. Brogan said this in her video, and I'll leave it linked in the description down below. It's honestly such a helpful video if you're thinking of buying one of these cases. But this bigger carry-on, they do a small one as well. This is called the bigger carry-on. It's accepted on like bigger airlines as a carry-on case but on some airlines it's a little bit too big so yeah but like I said this is mostly for my UK travels and I think the colour is lovely as well it was between this or the blush pink and I went for the sand in the end the light in my bedroom at this time of day is so grim it makes me look such a weird colour um so sorry about that but it's now what's the time it's like dusk it's quarter to six I'm actually going out for dinner tonight with my boyfriend and his friends I saw a girl on TikTok say this today actually and it's so true I hate referring to my boyfriend as my boyfriend obviously nothing against him it just makes me feel like I'm about 16 but if I say partner that sounds really old and I don't want to call him by his name because obviously I haven't really addressed him on my channel before you guys haven't met him and I'm enjoying having my relationship private so I've got to refer to him as boyfriend <laughs> so I'm so sorry if it makes you cringe and on the topic of him I know this will probably prompt some questions I am gonna share him with you guys eventually not share him with you he will be on my channel eventually only very casually though like we're not going to do sit down videos together we're not going to be a duo nothing like that nothing drastic but when we eventually move in together obviously i'm gonna be weekly vlogging i can't just cut a whole human out of my life when i'm vlogging around my own house every day so he said he's happy to like be in the background of vlogs putting his two pence every now and again so one day i promise you will meet said human but i don't think anytime soon i'm afraid i just really like having my two worlds separate because i am such a workaholic i can't even tell you like i just work 24 7 maybe 24 6 now i've met him and i think if i started to merge him into my work life everything would be work life i would start vlogging when we're out and about and i just don't like that i need time to switch my brain off and that's the easiest way to do it for me is to keep the two worlds separate because even though i'm not doing a lot of content on instagram and stuff like that anymore i'm so busy with sunny side that between Sunnyside and making YouTube videos, it keeps me busy like 25 hours of the day. Um, so that is the main reason really why he's not on my channel right now, just so that I can keep my private life private and my work life work. So I'm off out now. Oh, I've got a new jacket. Let me show you finally the jacket. I'm gonna wear it tonight. So it's from Miss Pap. I saw it on TikTok, shock. But I actually saw it on a really casual TikTok video and someone was just like, where's your friend's jacket from? And she just commented back. It's not gonna be for everyone. We'll say that. Little faux leather moment. The zip is like here. It smells a bit weird. You know when faux leather smells like fish? It does smell a little bit fishy, not gonna lie. Hope his friends don't think it's me. But it's got a little belt around the waist. I just thought it was really unusual. I really liked it and it looked really flattering on this girl on TikTok. I need to make it official and do a little mirror insta pic in this jacket because I do really like it. So this is what it looks like on. I've just got my um, flared black trousers on. I wear these all the time. They're so comfy. Especially when you're going out for a meal. Nice stretchy waistband. But yeah, the jacket is the outfit really. Once I take it off in the restaurant, my outfit goes down to about a 2 out of 10. But with the jacket on, she's at least a six. Good morning. I am, oh, oh, you've got muddy paws. Oh dear. Lovely muddy paw prints on my white jumper. Thank you so much. Anyway, I was about to say, we're up at the office today. Very exciting. I'm not going to make this vlog too business related just because I know some people are missing like normal content. Um, but my Christmas stock has arrived. So super busy week for us, counting, getting everything ready for the Christmas launch next week. But yeah, that is what we're doing today. Well, actually right now I'm having a little cuddle with the muddy paw prints on the white jumper. Does this give anyone else anxiety? I'm so sorry if it does. Oh, how am I meant to do anything now that I've got a puppy on me? Say hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Look at my muddy paws. Oh gosh. 
I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations. Oh, 'cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. My friends, I'm tired <laughs> this week. It's a busy one, um, but we're getting there. Last night, the last clip you saw, uh, my mum and I actually sat and folded up all the Christmas blankets, put ribbons around every one. Well, we've got one box left to do, but we're two thirds of the way there because not only has my Christmas stock arrived, like harnesses, collars, leads, but the Christmas blankets arrived too, which I wasn't expecting this week. So here is some of them. There's still one box left. Obviously the green design is still yet to be ribboned, but all of the gingerbread ones are done. It's very tiny consuming putting the ribbons around each one but I just think it looks so lovely when it arrives for the customer. The blankets are 70 by 100 centimeters so perfect size for your little pup and I will have already revealed these on Instagram by the time you see this but this is the first Christmas design this is called festive wishes I think anyway and this is the second one so cute love the neutral shades of this one and this one is called gingerbread kisses festive wishes gingerbread kisses she's a poet and she actually did know it because I planned that and now we can all keep our fingers crossed that people actually buy these and I'm not left with hundreds of Christmas blankets. <laughs> so we've come over to South End this morning um, because, a bit random, oh I've chosen to vlog when we've just stopped at a traffic light and there's people <laughs> right there. Oh no. I want a Christmas tree for the Sunnyside office, not just to decorate it but because I want it in the background and photos. But um, the one that I've seen, I want one of those ones that's like a nice green with snow on the branches but they're really expensive except in Wilco they've got one that should have been 100 pounds so it's reduced down to 50 and they've got 14 in stock at this south end store so we've come over this morning I'm gonna go and see if they've got it um, and keep our fingers crossed I need to buy decorations for this tree as well so I'm hoping they're gonna be quite cheap in Wilco I just want to do it really on a budget because it's just for work and um, it doesn't need to be like the most perfect Christmas tree in the world so I'm gonna go over there now, maybe pop into the range after, and then maybe try the new McCrispy chicken burger from McDonald's because I'm very excited about the prospect of that. A cold wind tonight when lights are low, the treetops are covered up in snow, and I always miss you so. I know that it's Christmas time again. Okay, Christmas tree is in the back and we've just come to McDonald's and got the McCrispy. So, this apparently is here to stay. So this is what it looks like. I mean, this is probably old news by now. Oh, it does look nice. Mmm. Oh, I like it. I think this will be my new go-to. I think I would give it maybe an 8.5 out of 10, maybe even a 9 out of 10. Mm. I like it a lot. I always get a chicken from McDonald's. Very crispy. I'm officially home. Sunny's officially got a waggy tail and I thought I'd show you what I bought from Wilco and the range. I know it's a bit early for a Christmas haul but this stuff is for the Christmas launch next week. Sunny's got her head in the bag. What can you smell in there? Right so first of all the main item, the main event, the main character of this haul is the Christmas tree which is down in this box. That was from Wilco like I mentioned. Um, it was actually the one that was up in the shop so I could see exactly what it was going to look like. Fab. There were so many of them as well but I reckon they will sell out. First thing, lights. I've got warm white. These are 600 warm white. That'll be enough surely won't it? They were £28 was slash now minus £9.50. I don't know how much that works out to but about £20. Then I've got this pack of red ball balls. She's so interested in everything. Her little paws on my knee. I can't cope. So this little pack of baubles was £6 for all of these. They had these in this red colour. So they had them in red and this pink colour. This is literally like the sunny side colour so I had to get this colour. I think they're lovely. And they also had gold, quite a yellow gold and silver. For the sunny side tree I'm going for perhaps questionable but pink and red. I actually really like pink and red together as a combo. Got this little pack of pink beading. This was I think £1. This little holly... Berry. I don't know how much this was. Is anyone bothered? Two little packs of baubles to fill in the gaps. These were a pound each. And this to go on the top. This was two quid. And all of that came to like £90 with the tree as well, obviously. So that's a pretty good start for a Christmas tree, right? 
Then I went into the range. And the main thing I needed to find was a tree skirt to go around the bottom because in Wilco, they were 35 pounds. I think that's so expensive. And then I went into the range and saw this one, plain white faux fur for 16 pounds. So I got that to go around the bottom of the tree. And then I found that in Wilco, the individual baubles are quite expensive, but the packs of baubles were really cheap, like six pounds for all of them. But in the range, it's the other way around. So the individual baubles are cheaper, but the packs of baubles are more expensive. So I've got six different ones. They were £1.80 each. I got this red one, this red one, and this red one. I think this one's my favourite. And then I got three champagne-y, goldy, little bit pinky. That one that one and the presents but i'm excited let me know in the comments down below what color do you decorate your christmas tree do you go like traditional red at home we go for like champagne gold and creams but at the office we're going color and i'm excited about it right it doesn't look much tonight hang on let me try and make it look a bit better did absolutely nothing but my mum and dad are out for a chinese tonight so it's my classic hun pesto pasta with chorizo red onion and cheese you honestly cannot go wrong it is so quick so easy and so yum I've just finished editing the vlog up to this point and realised once again I forgot to say goodbye. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's weekly vlog. Next week I'm going to put the Christmas tree up. Next week is actually the start of November, so I feel like Christmas vibes. Is it time? I want to say a big thank you again to Skin and Me for very kindly sponsoring this week's vlog. Don't forget, there's a link to Skin and Me down in the description below. And if you use the code FabHannahYT, you can get your first month of the Skin and Me Daily Doser for just £3.50. I can't stress enough what a good deal that is. But anyway, my loves, I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday. Let me know in the comments down below what's the best thing that happened to you this week. As always, I would love to know. Do subscribe to see my future vids. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next Sunday with another little video. Bye guys. Love ya.